shadow people, a term that conjures up images of dark and faceless figures lurking at the edge of our vision. What are they? Are that nation? Or do they hold a much deeper, more unsettling truth? Today, we are going to embark on a journey into the phenomenon known as shadow people and explore their connection to Middle Eastern lore and specifically the mysterious Jinn. But before we get any further into the mysteries of the Jinn, let me know, have you seen these things, these creatures? Let me know in the comments below. of shadow people span across cultures and centuries. Witnesses have always described them as dark, humanoid shapes, often seen out the corner of the eye. Some say they are harmless, while others feel an overwhelming sense of dread within their presence. But what if these figures are more than just figments of our imagination? What if they're real? The Jinn is a supernatural creature that can grant wishes but also cause harm and mischief. They are one of the most feared beings in many cultures and religions, especially in the Middle East and Asia. Imagine a creature that can shapeshift, possess and manipulate reality. A creature that can grant your deepest desires, but also curse you with your worst nightmares. A creature that has been around since the dawn of time and is still lurking in the shadows today. This creature is the Jinn, and it is not your friendly genie from the movies. The Jinn are said to be made of smokeless fire, and have the ability to take on any form they wish. They can appear as animals, humans, or even invisible forces. They can also inhabit objects, places, or people, and influence their actions and thoughts. The word jinn comes from the Arabic root meaning to hide or to conceal. The jinn are hidden from our sight, but they can see us and interact with us. They have free will, intelligence, and emotions just like humans. They also have their own society, culture, and religion. Some of them are good, some of them are evil, and some of them are neutral. But they all have one thing in common. They are powerful and unpredictable. The jinn can be contacted by humans through various methods such as rituals, spells, prayers, or offerings. Some people seek the jinn for their help, guidance, or protection, while others try to exploit them for their own gain. However, dealing with the jinn is always risky and dangerous, as they can easily deceive, trick, or harm humans. The jinn are not easy to deal with. They are often capricious, cunning, and deceptive. They can twist your words, your wishes, and your reality. They can also attach themselves to you and cause you physical, mental, or spiritual problems. Some of the symptoms of jinn possession or influence include nightmares, hallucinations, mood swings, illnesses, bad luck, or paranormal phenomena. The jinn can also harm you through their own magic or by sending other jinn or evil spirits to attack you. The jinn can be repelled or removed by humans through various methods such as exorcism, healing, or protection. Some of the ways to ward off or get rid of the jinn are reciting holy scriptures, invoking the name of God, using blessed objects, or seeking the help of a qualified healer or expert. The jinn are not invincible. They can be defeated or driven away by the power of faith, knowledge, and courage. They are afraid of God and his words and signs. They are also vulnerable to certain substances, such as salt, iron, or vinegar. They are also bound by certain rules, such as not entering a house without permission, or not breaking a pact or a contract. However, the best way to avoid the jinn is to not seek them in the first place and to live a righteous and virtuous life. Reports of shadow people span across cultures and centuries alike. Witnesses have always described them as dark humanoid shapes, often seen out of the corner of the eye. Some say they're harmless, while others feel an overwhelming sense of dread within their presence. But what if these figures are more than just a figment of our imagination? What if they're real? In Middle Eastern lore, shadow people are often identified as jinns. They're interdimensional beings distinct from ghosts and demons. Jinn are said to inhabit a parallel plane of existence, much like us, but they remain largely hidden. They are believed to dwell in abandoned places while their presence is less likely to be disturbed. These beings, intelligent yet primal, 
are drawn to dissolute environments. Jen are said to feed on fear and adrenaline, which might explain why encounters with shadow people often induce overwhelming anxiety. Some theorists even propose that shadow people are interdimensional entities that occasionally cross into our reality slipping through the veil in places where dimensional boundaries are weaker. One common explanation for these sightings is also sleep paralysis. During these episodes people report feeling an oppressive presence, which some attribute to Jin. This Josh is in a sleeping paralysis state right now. The best he could do is shake a bit like that and have a little moan try to yell but right now he's he's, he's saying that mm -hmm. yeah he's, he's begging for us to go he asked me to record him last night josh all right josh are josh you, are you guys josh are you guys he go. Hey. Hey. he's good he's good josh he's out he's out he go. Uh, and some places it can even take over the entire house. Check out the Shadow House. In the heart of Louisiana swamps, there stood an old mansion known as the Shadow House. Locals whispered that it was haunted by eerie shadow people who tormented anyone who dared to enter. Intrigued by the tales, my friends and I decided to spend a night there to uncover the truth. One muggy summer evening, we arrived at the mansion, its weathered facade looming ominously against the darkening sky. We set up our gear inside, the air thick with an unsettling quiet. As we gathered in the grand dusty parlor, a local historian joined us, sharing chilling stories of previous guests who had fled in terror, chased by shadowy figures. Skeptical but curious, we explored the house, our flashlights cutting through the gloom. Hours passed uneventfully until we heard faint whispering and saw flickering shadows moving against the walls. At first, we thought it was a trick of the light, but the shadows grew more defined, taking on menacing shapes. Panic surged through us as the shadows seemed to reach out, their dark forms stretching and twisting unnaturally. We felt a cold, oppressive presence closing in. Desperately, we tried to leave, but the shadows blocked our path, their touch sending chills down our spines. Finally, we managed to escape the house, breathless and shaken. The experience left us deeply unsettled. The legends of the shadow house were true. Something malevolent resided there, tormenting anyone who dared to enter. Our story spread quickly, becoming a chilling reminder of the dark secrets lurking in that old Louisiana mansion. Abandoned houses are often the stage for encounters with shadow people. These locations are believed to be the prime spaces where Jin remain hidden and unseen, only revealing themselves in flashes when the conditions are just right. The feeling of being watched, or something lurking just out of sight, often amplifies in such places. Sleep paralysis begins as vivid hallucinations, they say and many who experience it describe shadowy figures standing over them. Is this just a trick of the mind, or could it be an encounter with Jen beating on the paralyzed state of fear? Some say that they have seen the shadowy figures standing by their beds, feeling them watching them. They have said that they couldn't move, that they couldn't scream, but it was terrifying. Have you had one of these nightmares? Let us know. And this type of terror doesn't just stop at sleep in houses. Jen are also believed to have the ability to possess individuals. They don't just linger in the forgotten buildings. They can become a part of the most vulnerable moments, like sleep or during heightened emotional states. Their influence seems to stretch far beyond the visual sightings, invading the mind as well. Whether they are seen as the Jen a result of sleep paralysis, or even interdimensional beings, the shadow people phenomenon remains a chilling mystery. Do they feed on fear, or is there something more to do with their presence? Thank you so much for watching, and if you're intrigued by these tales and want to explore more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more content that dives into the mysteries of the paranormal.